Hey guys, it's Brian from 2Fab here, and today we are talking to Blake MacGyver. Thank you so much for coming down here. Absolutely, thanks uh, for having me. <laughs> I gotta say, I was a big fan of Little Rascals growing up, <laughs> and I can't believe it's been 20 years. Right? August is the 20th anniversary of the movie. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> I just realized it like a few months ago. I was like, oh crap. <laughs> does it feel like it's been that long for you? You know, in, in part it does. Um, I was one of the oldest in the cast at the time, mm -hmm. uh, so it, you know, I definitely have, have felt the, the progression of time, uh, <laughs> may, maybe more so than those that were like five when, <laughs> when the movie came out. <laughs> Do people recognize you from that role still today? Sometimes, it's <laughs> very strange. Um, or I get the like, I get the weird sort of, um, oh I know you from somewhere, somewhere. oh we went, we went to college together. Mm. And I'm like, no, my uncle who's a character actor has a great line whenever anyone comes up to him and is like, wait, I know you, we went, and he goes, we did time together. <laughs> I like it immediately that. disarms them and they immediately go away, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good idea. <laughs> now, if you obviously it's been 20 years after the movie came out, did you guys keep in contact after? Did you have play dates? You know, we did keep in contact for a little while, like thanks to our moms and mm -hmm. like, you know, a lot of the cast had moved to LA to work. But then, you know, we sort of lost touch as, yeah. as school went on and as everybody went their separate ways and people moved. Um, but then, I would say about four years ago, we got back in touch thanks to Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, we all sort of found each other. We're like, oh my gosh, is that you? Is that you? You know. <laughs> now, when you, you know, in this movie, you're kind of the bad guy. Totally. <laughs> Was it like that on set, or did everyone, you know, get along? You know what, everyone did get along really well. Kids. We did not have time <laughs> to not get along. Yeah. The, the schedule was so tight. I was still doing Full House at the time, mm -hmm. in between days on set for Little Rascals. So it was just, it was crazy. Now you brought up Full House. What was that experience like for you? And did people still come up to you wanting you to sing Yankee Doodle Dandy? Constant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Constantly. I imagine that's one of like the big things you get all the time. Yeah, I usually put some snarky uh, 4th of July social media post mm -hmm. each year. It's, it's so funny because that one episode, that was supposed to be my only episode on the show. I got mm -hmm. hired on, they wrote that one episode based on a performance that I had done on Star Search the year before, okay. um, where I did a patriotic medley. They, they <laughs> built this talent show sort of storyline. I was supposed to be on and off and done, and then that turned into three years, three seasons on the show. <laughs> Now I have to ask, last year all the headlines came out when you did the go-go dancing thing. What was that like that you saw so many people pick the story up? It's just got to be a weird, weird feeling. Well, it was really <laughs> weird because I had done it in complete anonymity yeah. for about six months where I was just putting cash away to produce this record. Yeah. Like that was my only goal. I was like, I need quick money. I don't have the money. I can do this. I can make money silently and make my music. And that will be the big, you know, reveal. Mm -hmm. And then, well, yeah. Buzzfeed and the Huffington Post had a different idea. Um, and so I woke up one morning and I, I hadn't even set, I, cause I didn't even know what a Google alert was. Yeah. I had not set a Google alert for myself. And one of my friends had done it sort of preemptively. Mm -hmm. And I get a call I'm like, he goes, I'm about to forward you 75 emails. <laughs> I was like, oh God, it was so scary. Now, what have you been up to these days? You know, what do you, what, you want to let people know what you're doing now? About a month and a half ago, I released uh, my album, finally, that I'd been working on for like two years. Yeah, I know you've been releasing the music videos and yes. been seeing those. Yes. And now um, you have the album to the, show. The album is finally out. It's on <laughs> iTunes and Amazon. You can check it out. It's called The Time Manipulator. Um, it's a really, really fun labor of love record that has been a long time coming. <laughs> I had a lot of stories to tell mm -hmm. and uh, the best way for me to express them was through music. You can follow uh, everything that I'm doing on BlakeMcIverOfficial.com. All right. Well, thank you so much thank for coming down Thank you so down much. Here. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks for having me on. All right. All right.